And you're now rocking with the voice of the South. Catch 22 Radio Show on 92 kills.com And we back. And it's a sausage party. It's a sausage party. No, That's no, a gothic type no, of party. That's a no, gothic type of party. Hey, why is that it? It's gothic type of party. It's gothic type of party. He only liked the part with the sausage party, Godfrey. It's okay. We got a special guest in the building, and she be sitting here chilling with us through all of the nonsense. She been laughing silently like a mug. Silently. We got Angel Face in the building. What's good, girl? Hi. Hey, don't be talking all soft. You can speak up. We ghetto in here. <laughs> What's going on with you? Nothing much. I'm just chilling. Just chilling. Yeah. Are you enjoying yourself oh, so far? I am. It's Y'all have been real funny. That's <laughs> awesome. Were you nervous to get on the mic with us? Because we're going to say whatever comes to mind. Absolutely. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> to keep it real, yes. <laughs> All right, the name Angel Face, where did it come from? Um, Angel Face, so my real name is Angela. Okay. Uh, Fun fact, a lot of people don't know that. But um, my real name is Angela, and my family calls me Angel. And I used to be a model, like... I'm 13, 14, so they used to always say, your face is very angelic, so on and so forth, and yeah, I was like, okay, I'll just call myself Angel Face on Instagram. It wasn't supposed to come into anything, but it did, so now here I am. That's I dope. That's dope. So explain to people what you do now. You said you modeled when you were 13, yes. 14, you was advanced, <laughs> but what do you do now? Um, so I still do some modeling. Okay. Um, I'm more of a creative now. Okay. I love to create more like creative direction and mm-hmm. so on and so forth. And now I'm starting to be like a little YouTuber. Oh, okay. <laughs> People have bullied me into do- into doing it, so I might as well. They bullied you into they doing it? They bullied me, oh, yes. Wow. They literally <laughs> harassed me into doing YouTube. So now I'm doing that. What um, are you doing on YouTube? I have a lock bun tutorial now. People love my lock buns. So, yeah. Oh, lock bun. Yeah, lock bun. I was going to say lock bun. I was like, hey, look, we've been talking about sausage parties. Lock bun. No, 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 no. Lock buns. Like messy, messy buns. Oh, okay. And then some people do it with, like, braids. Some okay. people do it with, like, faux locks. And yeah. They wanted me to do a tutorial, so I did that for them. And I guess... We'll go on from there and see what else they want to see. Okay. How so long you- have you been growing your lot? I was there with my next question. <laughs> I get this question asked so many times a day, um, but it's been 13 years, so half my life. So what made you do it? At 13. At, At 13. 13. Yeah, that's a big decision. Well, I was nine, actually. Well, 10, technically. But like 10 plus 13. Okay, I know how yeah. it is. Okay, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so at 10, like, well, like, most girls are, like, kind of, like, insecure about their look. So mm-hmm. right. what made you say, like, I want to lock up and go natural at 10? That's, what, 13 years ago? That was 2006? Definitely wasn't no girls walking around with lock. Yeah, so I actually went to a Mexican elementary school. So I didn't see a lot of black hair uh. growing up. Um, but you said you went to a what? A Mexican, Mexican something. I thought you school. ain't seen no locks in you. <laughs> <laughs> you went to a Mexican what kind of school? Elementary school. Oh, elementary. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. I went to a Mexican elementary silky. school, so I didn't know too much about black hair. Mm-hmm. I just saw what my mom did with her hair. Um, she had it permed at the time, and then she went natural. So I watched that process, um, but it still didn't register to me. But my dad got locks um, around that time, and I loved my dad. I looked up to him. So I was like, you know what? I want locks like my daddy. And my mom was just like, well, you know you have to shave your head. And I was just like, it's just hair, mama. And she was like, okay, yeah, all right, fine. Yeah, you're ready. You can do locks. So that's why. Locked up ever since. You've been locked mm-hmm. up ever since. Yeah. You're going to get free one day. No, <laughs> <laughs> So, like, since you got locked, like, you burn, like, sage and meditate and stuff like that? Actually, no. <laughs> really? <laughs> no. Are you vegan? No. So what do you do? I'm are not you vegan. vegan. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, yeah. you're real. I like I'm you. I'm actually not your typical. I'm not a Rasta. Okay. So, yeah, definitely not one of those. I love fashion. And that's what I have to kind of, like, grow away from on my Instagram, on mm-hmm. my social media. Is everybody wanted to see me, like, rolling around in the grass with flowers in my hair? <laughs> right, for sure. And I'm like, that is not. <laughs> Because you have dredge and your name is Angel Face. Angel and Face. Exactly, so exactly. Yes. You know, I am a lot of those things, but uh-huh. more, there's a lot more. So things. you ain't bring no stones or nothing. Your no, chakra. No, no stones. <laughs> no sage dust to burn. No, no. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm 
very shocked. I am shocked too. Then you're not a vegan? No, I'm not a vegan. Wow, this is crazy. You're That's not awesome. a vegan. You so and your... grass in this picture. I came to this picture just. <laughs> <laughs> you are grass. grass. So that's why I thought I was like, oh, we about to talk yeah. about Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, vegan stuff. Mm -mm. So what's your favorite food? Oh, I would have to say pizza. I love me some cheese. You don't look like so, eating no pizza. Oh, yeah. You don't look like you eat at all. At all. At, you at, like you eat grass. That is so funny. See, <laughs> my metabolism doesn't do me justice. It really doesn't. But, I mean, it works in the modeling industry, too. Mm -hmm. So, kind of. So, how you ended up at a Mexican elementary? <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> he can't get off here. Listen. <laughs> she stayed like, that just side. don't happen, fam. Like, that don't right? side. <laughs> okay, so a little history, a little history. So I used to live off of 290. Y'all know where uh, 290 and um, I want to say it's that it's like right by right that yeah, Mangum. like over there. Yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. Mangum. Yeah. 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 So um, there's a lot of Mexicans over there. A lot. A mm -hmm. lot. Barely any blacks. It was like me and my little sister and one other black person at the school. So could you speak Spanish? I can now. I stayed in Costa Rica for about three months um, when I did the gap year. And age, you don't burn sage? What you got going on? <laughs> you you this ain't me. who you supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> you missed the memo. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, I did stay. Um, I lived on a tent on a beach in the Bahamas for a month. Room Why? Two, yeah, room in board. a tent? Listen, I, when I got out of high school, I was like, I just want to be different. I don't want to go straight to college. I was like, I'm just going to live my life for a little while. Your people got money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, what that like. that's what it is because you lived in Costa Rica. Costa Rica. You didn't live in Bahamas in the tent. Uh -huh. Like, I you ain't go to the well, place until was... I got grown. Oh, right. yeah. That's funny because that was me by myself. Costa Rica and, um, and Bahamas. So I was a part of a gap year program. This is, this is back, I feel like, a lot more black people need to do this. Uh -huh. White well, people, educators. especially with rich white people, they always take gap years. Once, like, just a whole year of just nothing but traveling. You don't mm -hmm. see black people but doing that. Because we can't do there it. There are programs. There are literally programs. You don't have to be in college or anything like that. You can apply to a program. I got a scholarship, so I didn't have to pay for anything. What's the program? Mm -hmm. I'm interim, trying to figure that out. Interim programs. So yeah. this is the thing. I think they, they, they accepted you based on <laughs> you being you. But if I apply for that, they be like, uh -uh. I'm going to go apply so I can do this now. <laughs> no, yeah. you're 35, you, 67 no, years old. Anybody, anybody can do it at any age. You can take a gap year from your job. What? You know? Yeah, right. anybody can do it. With kids, no kids. <laughs> I got no kids. I'm taking this gap I'm year. I'm in my 20s. And I like to travel too. I'm taking this gap year. Oh, yeah. Year, and it's oh, free. Oh, it's not free. It's not free. Oh, that's what you're saying. You said. <laughs> but I, you, can get a, you can get a scholarship. She got a scholarship. Yeah. Oh, that's free. They're going to see his age. They're going to be like, boy, I'm going to get to get into that office. <laughs> gap year, bye. No, so like, so, but if you're living on the Bahamas, they they can't find you for child support, right? <laughs> I don't know about all that. Oh, it was dudes I don't have kids. Everything. Yeah, it was dudes. It was chicks. So were y'all like in a group? That when I got no, it was me by myself. Um, I was like 18, what? and I just yeah, I just flew out there. So what were y'all doing? Y'all just made living you live in on tent. The beach in a what tent. I did? Now this will probably fit into what y'all thought okay, I was. Okay, so I stayed at a yoga ashram. Man, uh -huh. I, I, a yoga ashram. Where they just do yoga it's all day. Yeah, they do yoga all day, and it's a bunch of rich white people, mm -hmm. you know, black people, yeah. whatever, different minor minorities, and they're just like going there and you know, practicing yoga, but I actually volunteered there. Mm. So I was in the kitchen, washing dishes, oh. cooking, and stuff like that. You, yeah. you was doing all this and not getting paid I was doing, it? like, all this, but so I was staying there for free. With all the rich oh. white folks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you traded your services for room and board. Exactly, exactly. That's some movie stuff. You can always <laughs> make, like, a movie <laughs> about your lifestyle. What is it? The you Sisterhood can. of the Traveling Pants? Uh -huh. like, Never yeah, seen it. It's kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> that is so dope. I'm really intrigued. Okay, then how did Costa Rica happen? Bro, Costa they let you wash the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> Costa Rica, I went to school out there. Um, I stayed with the host family for about three months, and I traveled on the weekends to different parts of the country and stuff. It was really nice. Um, What's a host family? A host family is basically a family that lives in that they country, take you in. and they take you in. They get paid for it. The program pays uh, them for it. Really? Yeah. And if y'all didn't know, Costa Rica, they don't have, you know, Can they're not well to do. You? No, no, no. Actually, I didn't have any bad encounters. Not at all. 
Because, you know, like, they pay foster parents for taking kids, but they be meeting them. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Mm -mm. These people, they have to definitely go through, like, certain, I guess, programs and stuff like that, too, and be vetted before they're even registered as host families. Wow. But, yeah. See, I gave this uh, African man a hard time at my job <laughs> because he told us that he worked, he lived with a white family, like a random white family. And I was like, man, <laughs> white people don't just take it like that. Like that. <laughs> you would get out, right? You need to run. <laughs> but he's like just living with this white family. Honestly, and he was like, I don't know. Would That's you have lived with yeah, a white family? Say that again. Would you have lived with a white family? I think I'm too culturally different. I'm too. I'll be in there. Bro, you I'm all the way out the country. Honestly, like, I'm going to go in there and look for the series. going to be in the cabinet somewhere. I'm going to my series been on top I mean, of the I don't know. I, uh, I don't know. It depends on the country. Because I have to stay with a host family, you know, that's white, that's mostly white in that country. But there's no country that's mostly white that I really want to stay in. Um, yeah, so. America. Uh-huh. Fine. Okay. I, that's family. enough for me. I, I'm good. So <laughs> would you live outside the country? I would. I really would. What and would if you... I did, I honestly would want to go to Africa. Africa? Mm-hmm. Does your YouTube channel tell people about stuff like this? this listen, I just posted my first video. <laughs> I just posted my first video. What I mean, it, it, it was about the lock button. It was about it was the, the lock button. Oh, yeah, lock button. Yeah. No, you look telling people about the host families, man. Yeah, this, yeah host this families. This is different. And, like, I've oh, never yeah, heard tents of well, it was, it was really awesome. My, my mom, she was amazing. We watch soap operas together. We cook together. We wash clothes together. You got to call her mama. I ain't calling that well, lady no, mama. She was just like a mother to oh, me. Oh, this is not, not your real mama. Yeah, this not my real mom. mama. But it's so funny because we'll, we'll still talk and stuff on Facebook. It's not like it's not like we don't talk you anymore. You got to hear like see translation. No, no. Actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> I went to school out there. So, so you I learned speak, Spanish. How long did it take you to get fluent in Spanish? Oh, it took me a week. Took me a week. A week? A week? Man, I took Spanish for four years. I, I was in Spanish got But that's the reason why I wanted to do a language immersion. That's what it's called. When you go to a different country that speaks only that language, it's a language immersion. So you're, you pick on, you know, pick up really quick. I don't think I would have picked it up. I've been oh, you'd have to. If like, you huh? go to the grocery store, you can't say anything. You can't speak. You can't talk to them. So you'll have to pick up. <laughs> See, I go out the country all the time, but I just never... I... <laughs> I hope my people don't, speak yeah. English when I go, because I'm on a resort. Uh, yeah, a lot, uh, yeah, that's a true, too. Yeah, a lot of times, a yeah, lot of no. times, if you're doing tourist stuff, there are people that speak English. Yeah, anyway. no, I don't do tourist stuff. I like to get into the culture. They don't scare and you. I go places mm -hmm. like Jamaica, so no. <laughs> they got buzz out there. <laughs> she said she want to go to Africa. It's hot out there. Africa. It's hot out here in Houston, too. No, no, they don't be no. They <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to go to Ghana. Yeah. Lions don't even beautiful. come out a certain part of the day. They be like, uh uh. Mm -mm. I'm gonna sit uh -uh. my foot right here. I cannot. Sit but get your ass in the top. I'm going out there. So, if you could name five places that you want to visit before you leave this earth, where would you, what would those five places be? Mm. I would definitely have to say Nigeria, Ghana. Um, I would say, well, I've been to LA, and that was cool. LA? LA, it's okay. I've been in all the other places. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely different than Houston, but it's similar in a lot of ways. Too. It's dirty. We yeah, it's very Chinatown. dirty. LA is people, super dirty. I, I was like, y'all are really hyping this up. It's very hype. Yeah. It's a lot of homeless people. There. Yeah. That's a yeah. lot. Of, and they well, be hustling. Everybody feel like they're going to LA to make it, and uh -oh. they end up homeless. And then they get up there and rent it seventeen thousand dollars. Right. For a half a bedroom. Exactly. Yeah, I um, thought LA was very hyped too. It is. Mm -mm. It really is. Um, New York is dirtier than any other place. Yeah, I, I, that's why I wouldn't even say New York. Have you been? No, I haven't. It's a beautiful place though. You should go. I got into school there, but I didn't. They got cold. big rats. Yeah, I they heard that. Rats. But you, it just it's, they got like Chihuahua rats. They do. <laughs> All of that is true. But riding the subway and and being and seeing like Houston, Dallas, Austin, all within like walking distance of each other is pretty dope. Okay, that's it's cool. Different. Well, we can't have cool. subways because we under. The, Sea level. Yeah, and then they stuff. A lot of that stuff goes up, not out. So like, all it's just a whole bunch of buildings. But they you can be in the project walk they were on the twenty seventh floor. Yeah. Right. And the elevator it's broke. Dope, That's awesome. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> it's dirty though, yeah. but I like it though. Yeah, I gotta go one day. <laughs> but another, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure of any other places. I'd really, really just like. Oh yeah, I gotta go there. Yeah. So why Nigeria and Ghana? Well, Nigeria, for one, I feel like my ancestors are from there. You feel like, you feel like or you know I, my ancestors You know what? Okay, I'll say I know it. I'll okay. say I'll know it. Just because of the transatlantic slave trade, 
That's where no, our people. Lost people. Lost no, me. that's where that's where we came you from. Lost me. You lost me. My people came from Mississippi. My great great grandmother was from Mississippi. But if you take an African elephant out of Africa huh. and he has babies he's, here he's in be, Houston, he's, gonna, he's still elephant. gonna be an Them African no, no, no. elephant. He's gonna be an African Them elephant. Babies. They're gonna be American elephants. Mer- no, they're still it's African. The same thing. It's the breed. It's the breed. There's no elephants that are born and raised here in. Mm. I don't know that. I see here in oh, the I zoo, see African, like the I zoo, see but, in the zoo but it's still, we don't, we and don't have that, you know, New York. that breed. So the thing is about We it. have bears, you know, yeah. we have. We got elephants. I just seen the elephant no, in the zoo have a baby. The lion no. from Madagascar didn't identify as Madagascar <laughs> yet. He was a New Yorker. That's all he knew. Y'all Son. not. No. I, African American. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There, there's no lions here in the States. What? They yes. swam over. There's no lions here. They're brought to the States. So that's a difference. So what they happens with, now. The, with the with the lions that are born here? Hey, wow. Hey, wow. They're born here. Then that's the it. African American lions. No. <laughs> African American lions. <laughs> <laughs> are they not? They are. You're look, look, absolutely look, 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 right. Look, I'm just saying, look, if a yeah. Mexican comes here legally, right, and uh-huh. they have their babies here, that baby is a Mexican American. Yes, right but they're still, so but they're heritage. That, from Africa, and you bring them over here, and they have a cub over here. That is that an is African an American. Yes, lion. but their nationality is different than where your than your ethnicity. You get what I'm saying? No. Nope. Uh-huh. It is. It's very different. This guy nationality is very different. All right, than, we're gonna go to can break we take a break? Because I don't know none of these words, trans, Americans, Africans, Atlantic Ocean. I'm I don't know laugh, none of got African American lines. Right. <laughs> I, I can't wait to get off air to post this on Facebook. Y'all lost me at transsexual ocean. I didn't know what we were talking about. <laughs> Alright, we're going. You watching us? No, because y'all gonna say all people come from Africa except white people. Here's, yeah. That's a whole other topic there in itself, too. Y'all. They pick, pick these. <laughs> he called them piglets. He called them piglets. <laughs> we My called the called people called piglets. piglets. She called them pink people. Yeah. My mom does, too. Allegedly. So I'm just crazy how I feel like if they say all people, Chinese people, everybody come from Africa except for the white people. Except for the white no, people because no, no. they were grown. Where Asians come from because Asians don't look nothing like us. And they got the skin of white people. Yep. yep. And the hair. Yep. No, they sing are, like us yeah, and they dance like us, but they don't look like yeah. us. What's indigenous Asia? Indigenous are the The, the, the people that come from Asia. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Mm-hmm. So why can't they? They had indigenous <laughs> white people. For sure. They were called what? Vikings. <laughs> <laughs> Patriots. <laughs> oh, Christopher right. Columbus was white. <laughs> oh my God. Did y'all know Christopher tried to take claim with Jamaica too? That man said it was already us here. <laughs> <laughs> it was always somebody somewhere. We were That's, already, what I think. Yeah. That's my belief. I believe there it was, was already a McDonald's it's... before the dude stole it and made it bigger than what it was. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that too, Drew. That's, it's an actual movie about it. He stole McDonald's. Yeah. Oh man. That's what it is. Okay, we back with Angel Face. Uh, she over there shaking her head like, where did I get myself into? <laughs> no, he even got into something because we trying to figure out where white people came from. Y'all talking about they came from the Anglo Mountain. I don't even know where that is. The Anglo Mountain. <laughs> Anglo-Saxon Mountain. See, because look, 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 look. I just, look, look, look. Because when I, when I was in school, they did call them Anglo-Saxons. Uh-huh. So when did they switch them to Caucasians? Yeah. Because they're Caucasians, man. Yeah. Why are we listening to this? <laughs> this this scares me. Hey, them people was... Th- he said... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For real. They really were. Okay, so look, I, I feel like because you have all of this information, uh-huh. that you shouldn't just blog about your lock butt. Uh-uh. But I think it's about lock butts. But you should also blog about uh, the gap year. You should yeah. blog about... Uh, uh, we, we were talking about Pangea. That's yeah. what we were talking about. Uh, and transsexual oceans. The tra- Frank Oceans. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah. The transatlantic slave trade gang. So, yeah, are, are you just trying to just be like a lifestyle blogger, or are you trying to like appear in like movies and stuff like that? Honestly, it's kind of hard. I, I kind of like to do everything. I don't know if y'all any if y'all know anything about like zodiac signs. 
Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm a cancer. Like a okay, I love cancers. I'm sick. What are you? Yeah. You don't know about I'm a Capricorn. Cancer. I'm a Capricorn too. What? Yeah. No I'm wonder. Nobody love cancers. Yeah, um, I just love. Okay, so. I guess, you know, we kind of like to dibble and dabble into everything and kind of just like do our best at everything. No! And that Capricorn. I- I'm going to let y'all make it because my mom was a Capricorn. Other than that, Capricorn. Jesus is a Capricorn, too. <laughs> Jesus ain't no Capricorn. Jesus, Jesus ain't no Capricorn, Capricorn fam. Actually, he, he was born, born in September. In yeah. was about with y'all. But he, he so wanted to be a Capricorn. He was born in man December. Was Capricorn, bro. <laughs> y'all wild it. It wasn't even snowing out there. <laughs> it, it wasn't snowing in Houston either. <laughs> He wasn't born in Houston. Where you born at? <laughs> Bethlehem. <laughs> they don't snow in Bethlehem. Yeah, they do. No. It's always snow. Look, <laughs> Look it up. Oh, man. Okay, continue about the Zodiac. What are we going with the Zodiac? Okay, so I just like to do everything. Okay. I kind of just like have a love for everything. everything. Yeah. So, so I what about cancers? What, what's, what's our... She said she we loves just, us. We just get along. I don't know what it is. We just really get along. They crack me up. My best friend's a cancer. Shayla, Mako. We are the life of the party. We are. Yeah. Y'all are All clowns. the time. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But this, the... this beat makes me feel like a whole gangster. Like... <laughs> Dude, what you doing, man? I'm stacking. Oh, Listen. my God. So, why you uh, YouTubing? Um, I have a group. The name my group is Stick and Nasty, Okay. Okay. And um, Drew, I'm gonna let you explain it, and then I'm gonna give some little input too. Okay. About so what, what we, we do, do is we do a uh, black background blogging. Uh-huh. So like, while you doing like your messy buns, like I'll be like freestyling and she'll be dancing. Yeah. But it all worked together. Like, yeah. you know, <laughs> you know I mean? It all worked together. You know, like uh, like Pangea. You know, it's yeah, all yeah, together. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. a lot of this. You know what I mean? So. I think uh, that was more apart. Than <laughs> no, it was, I mean, it, they it broke started. apart from before they started together. Yeah, yeah. Then you broke apart, but yeah. it all works together. Like, the world is separate, but it's together. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's you. how our background blogging works. Yeah. We're going to be we're gonna be apart, but we're going to be together, and yeah. it's going to work together. Okay. You think that'll work? Yeah, I'm down to collab. Okay, <laughs> awesome. I mean, it's not a collaboration, because we kind of do our own thing. <laughs> so you like, kind of wow. do you. Yeah, we like, do I us. might be making eggs while you doing your lock bun. While you doing lock bun. So <laughs> but I'm talk- my own star, you your own yeah, star. Yeah, yeah, right. like, we all shine. Well, mostly us. <laughs> but you shine too. <laughs> like, is he making cooking eggs? <laughs> I cannot. I think it's a good idea, Drew. I think it's great. And then when you talking about your beliefs of how the world started and where white people came from, I'm going to tell them I believe they're part of seeds. I think they were grown. You think it came from the ocean? I can believe that. I think they were grown. They no, put them like, in the ground. No, like they was planted. <laughs> and them little things grew. Because <laughs> you know they always say you got like one bad seed in a bunch. That's uh-huh. the ones that be That was that bad, bad seed. <laughs> I mean, I kind of don't want to get into. I think we GMO. <laughs> I mean, all I can say is everything we need to know about all of that is in the scriptures. In you what know, scriptures? The scriptures. I don't read this stuff. Oh, hold on, hold you on, should. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Too long. What, what's your what's your belief? What do you mean? Like you're religious. I'm not religious. I'm yeah. big. You're spiritual. <laughs> yes, I'm spiritual. Okay. Spiritual. <laughs> so what I scriptures believe. do you read? Like you still? <laughs> oh, so I mean, I feel like the truth is really coming out a lot more now, especially mm-hmm. in the African American community, in the white community, and in the African community. We're like all waking up to who we all really are mm-hmm. and stuff. So. Really, the scriptures that you've been reading. The in back the of the Lucky Charms box, because they believe in stars, unicorns. Wait, the right? what? What? Back of the Lucky Charms. Lucky box. Charms box. Stars oh, in no, the moon. You know no, they no. All, <laughs> all the scriptures on the back of the Lucky Charms box. <laughs> no. Because they believe in like rainbows, the yep. clover, stars, yep. moons. Oh yeah. All no, that. no. All, I'm telling you, so Drew, that's genius. The back of that. You're probably the smartest man in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Go read the back of your looking Charles Black. I bet you some missing jokes. No, no. Did anybody grow up in the church here? I did. Being honest? I did not. Okay. So that same book, really. Oh, it's our history book, you know? Mm-hmm. So that's... What, Lucky Charles Box? Heck the, no. Oh. <laughs> the Bible. The Bible. The Bible. Oh, the yes. Bible. Yes. Oh, okay. That was a man reading too. We're not going to get into that. But yeah, that's, that's really where I study, where... I get all my knowledge from. Okay. And yeah. how often do you read it? Every day. Every hmm. day. Every day. So how do you read the Bible every day and not consider yourself a Christian? Because or the religion. Bible isn't Christ- isn't a Christian book. They just took it. White people steal everything, you know. Mm-hmm. King so. James definitely took it and put it into the church. <laughs> no, I was asking. Y'all questions. know, actually, King James was re- re- originally black. He wasn't white. 
point. Yeah, he wasn't white. So it was Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. He was one of our people. I too. think Jesus is everybody when they talk about like Buddha and Allah. And it's you. They. It's, th- that's you're the, the God of your world. That's the thing, though. They always so. <laughs> it's all religion is man-made. Mm-hmm. Faith isn't, and we've always been about faith. But really, I think um, I want to say it was a campaign the Romans did, mm-hmm. and they were trying to basically rule the world. And what they did was they changed our faith. They went to Africa and was like, we want to you know, conquer these people, but they don't like idols. They don't like, I want to put a statue of me in there. They won't worship me. Mm. So what they did was basically just take you know our, what that took our like? book. The Book of Eli. You ever watched that movie? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, it's that's like the truth. Saying, that's saying, the like, truth. I have all these books. I have all this knowledge, mm-hmm. but you I need this one book to exactly. rule the world. And when he got it, it was like blank because he had memorized. Like he was the Bible. He mm-hmm. was blind, man. Mm-hmm. Huh? And who was? But and who was, saying, he? But, and but who was he? And who was he? Was, he was black, he was also. Black. But he, so. but he was the Bible. Like he had it memorized in mm-hmm. his mind. Mm-hmm. So even when they said like he was reading, he wasn't reading. Mm-hmm. Like he was, he already knew what it was. It was in Braille, fam. Yeah, it was in Braille, but. At well, the what same I'm saying time, is he lost the book. He, he when he went to at the end to give the story, he was memorizing. Oh yeah, he read it so much yeah. that he knew it by heart. But right. he, that was the thing about the whole movie is that he was blind, bro. Like that was the whole movie. Shout out to my boy Stevie. Stevie. <laughs> Stevie Wonder shot a basketball fan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, look, I'm telling you, Stevie Wonder, Stevie Wonder his, caught a falling mic. For real. He that's at, instinct, though. You don't think no, that's instinct? No. He looked at his watch. It I don't care. His, no, no, no. It wasn't his mic. It was I, somebody else's mic. Wait, y'all trying to say Stevie A. <laughs> look, 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 look. look, look. It's a wide. lot of things that you can do, right? But yeah. if you can't see, you're not picking your arm up doing this. Hey, Stevie knew what was <laughs> like. Look, look, they call him like, what time? <laughs> it radiated <laughs> to his face. Nah, he felt the light. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. The light. It I burned think, it to I him. I think they seen Ray Charles and they seen the blind sensation. And they yeah. Needed another one. So they and they said, Stevie. you know what? Stevie Wonder. And he played it right. Cause he, <laughs> he, he, uh, that, that wouldn't be a yeah. bad idea. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to tell my son to go blind and, and play the piano. We can make some millions. <laughs> millions. Blind sensation. Hmm. He need a manager. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk. So, <laughs> Let me ask you a question. So do you think that focus, how do you focus on one thing? Because I know I'm the same way. I like to do a million things at one. But I feel like I don't give my full attention to one thing, being a Capricorn. Mm. So what is it that you, like, mainly want to do? That I mainly want to do? Yeah, like what's all said See, do. I try to just limit it to just, like, something this simple. Just inspire other people. That's it. You know, there's so many different ways to inspire people. Even if you just dabble in different things, that's going to touch somebody. You know, in that arena, in this arena, in that arena, it's going to touch someone. So... I just always say, and Miles Monroe said this too, you don't ever want to die empty. If you were to die today, what could you say you gave to somebody else? Babies. You know? Babies. No. <laughs> <laughs> I did me. Babies. Babies. But, they, but even those babies need a, a legacy time. too. You no, know? You, you just said, what did I give her? I definitely gave it to me. <laughs> no. You gave it to <laughs> me. She definitely don't remember that I gave it to me. But yeah, you definitely want to leave your legacy theory. somehow. You know? So... Yeah. <laughs> That's real. When's your birthday? January the third. What? Okay. When's yours? Tenth. Oh, okay. Boo. January, baby. This connection. Some good people. Yeah, sure. So y'all like a week apart, <laughs> but like sixty seven years apart. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I am old. That just that was old, y'all. I'm <laughs> But you look really young, so That's I sixty seven years later. Here comes <laughs> <later. laughs> All right. So, Angel, can you tell the people where they can find you on social media? Y'all can find me on Instagram at A N J E L. That's how you spell Angel. That's how you spell it on my. That's Angel. Oh. That's Angel. <laughs> like the <day> one. <laughs> on YouTube, you can find me at Angel J. Angel spelled regularly, like Taylor feels. <laughs> and so, J A E. So, why, why not make it J? I don't like that. On YouTube. I'm a little, I want to make it a little fancy. Okay. Do a little <laughs> extra. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Angel Face, for stopping by. No problem. And I giving us your time. knowledge. Yeah, you definitely got to come back and hang with us. We got to talk about Lauren Hill. We got a lot of stuff. Oh, oh yeah, oh, that's my girl. Yeah, well, we I love Lauren. Hill. No, she has a Lauren Hill like essence to her. So I yeah, do. Yeah, I always either get Lauren Hill or Erica Badu. I can see that. Yeah. All them earthy women. All them earthy women. Yeah. yeah. 
I don't burn titties though, no. Hey. <laughs> I got friends. Everybody but Lauren do got believes... something wrong with her vagina. She make everybody change their beliefs. Like, <laughs> yeah. Once they get with her. Who you talking about, Erica? She Erica be putting spells on the way he Andre 3000 was hit wearing me. big shirts and he was rapping. He was playing. Now he playing guitars he... in the middle of Starbucks, Common. fam. <laughs> Common, <laughs> Common was a hardcore rapper, and then he became real conscious and stuff. Yeah. And then she said she only has sex with missionary. What is you doing? What's so this she is the thing. Saying stuff, can she I ask y'all a question? Thinking <laughs> answer. Can I ask y'all a question? Uh huh. Even though y'all know all of this, uh huh. Would y'all still hit? Yes. I'm back up my dashiki in the closet. <laughs> dashiki! <laughs> it'd be good. It might be so good to it. I'm telling you. <laughs> She's making it. Alright. You're, you're now rocking with the voice of the oh, South. Catch 22 you. Radio Wednesday Show on 92kills.com. What's up, y'all? It's Angel Face. I'm here with the marvelous Catch 22 team. I'm so happy to be here. You can catch me on Instagram at Angel Face. That's A N J E L dot face. Oh.